On Friday, Russia launched a new rescue capsule from Kazakhstan that will eventually bring back three astronauts whose original return capsule was found to be punctured. The Soyuz MS-23 vessel, which was loaded with supplies, was launched from the Russian-operated Baikonur Cosmodrome. It is scheduled to reach the orbiting lab and dock with the International Space Station on Sunday. However, it is not going to bring back the three astronauts, who are US astronaut Frank Rubio and Russian cosmonauts Dmitry Petelin and Sergei Prokopiev until September. The three astronauts reached the International Space Station last September and their mission was supposed to last for six months, but it was prolonged because their return vehicle started leaking coolant in December. The reason for the leak, as believed by the US and Russian space officials, was a micrometeorite that damaged the external radiator. A similar leak was reported in a Russian cargo ship docked to the ISS since October. As per reports, that uncrewed cargo ship was released from the space station last week. Fearing manufacturing defects, the Russian space agency delayed the launch of the new rescue capsule. According to reports, the rescue capsule was scheduled for launch in March and was going to have two cosmonauts and an astronaut on board to replace Rubio, Petelin and Prokopiev. However, without replacements, the three will now be spending close to a year on the ISS. Reports further said that they will only make their return to Earth once a new capsule with crew replacements is ready for launch in September. Once humans reach the ISS, capsules remain attached to the orbiting research lab for the entire duration of missions to bring back astronauts to Earth upon completion of their missions. The damaged capsule will return to Earth empty so that engineers can examine it.